A few of you have asked about how I enabled the blinkers inside the 8820. Uh, and so I thought I'd take a little bit of time and walk through how I did that. What we're looking at here is the inside cab of an older version of the 8820, an older iteration of the work I had done. I had already enabled the turn signals on the outside and I was getting ready to do the turn signals on the inside. So I thought this would be a good, a good spot to show how I did the work. So inside here, this model already has two meshes for the indicator lights inside uh, and I've got indicator left selected here and you can see it if I kind of pull it up out you can see it's just a cylinder mesh stuck inside the dashboard and before it had an emissive light shader on it in 17 but we'll actually UDEM this into a blinker as part of the tutorial now you could UDEM any kind of shape or object it's really the material offset inside blender that enables the blinking in FS19 so to do this, I'll show you the process I went through. I'm sure there's other ways of doing it, uh, but this is the way I did it for the 8820. So let's start by exporting this out. And we'll select uh, OBJ object. And I've got our Blinker tutorial environment with this older iteration in here for us to work through. And we'll call this indicator left and we'll go ahead and save that out as an object file. Now that we have that saved, we can open up Blender and I'm going to go ahead and start with a clean environment. We don't need anything else in here and we're going to import the object we just exported and we'll go into uh, the Blinker tutorial, select the object and now we've pulled the indicator object into Blender. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. The first thing I like to do is set my mass uh, origin around the mass. Uh, and so I've got that so we can rotate around it uh, directly. Now that we have that, I also like to look at the default rotations, make sure those are all set. You'll see that has 90 degree. I want that to be zero. So I hit control A, set the rotation, and now that is zero. Uh, when I export, everything will be aligned the way I want it. So now that we have that, the way I've been enabling objects for blinking is I've actually been vertex painting them. So I want a green turn signal, so I'm going to vertex paint this green. And we'll do that. And it's a little bit hard because it's a smaller object, but I'm just vertex painting it green. We get the bottom here. So, yeah, so now we have our object. Let me make sure this other side is good. So everything is green. So the next thing I like to do is we need to UV map it. I'm going to pull over a second UV image editor here. And then we can go into edit mode. And I'm going to select U to unwrap. Use smart UV project. Give it a little space between them, if you haven't done that before. Now we have it nicely unwrapped here. I'm going to select it with A. Select everything that's unwrapped. I'm going to pull over the Tool Editor and select the Material Selector. Now this is a separate plug into Blender. If you haven't been doing UDEM stuff uh, for FS19, I'll include a link to this. You have to follow the instructions and install it into your Blender. Uh, but it makes doing the material offsets very simple in Blender. So now that I have this, the offset for the blinker is one right and two down. One, two. That's the proper spot to enable blinkers in uh, blinking in FS19. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go back out here and I'm going to export this as Giants i3D. 
and we're going to go to the desktop to blinker tutorial and we'll call this turn signal i3d and we'll export that and now that we've done that I'm going to come in here and I'm going to disable the visibility on the existing one since we want the new one. Import turn signal. And now that I've done that, I want to set this to be green. So I'm going to name this green. And zero. So now we have a cl very green looking mesh in there. Now, what we want to do is we want to enable the vehicle shader. So we're going to go ahead and come in here and we'll come into shaders inside the farming simulator install directory. Use the default vehicle shader. So select vehicle shader. Now that we have that uh, we'll see variation none. We want to select static light and then down here just to show that we've got light effects you can come into the light control and actually see we got lighting in there but what we want to do is use the script now to uh, We'll use the script to um, enable the turn signal. So to do that, we want to go back in here. We're going to go into this current version, and I'm going to edit the XML. And we want to come into the turn signal, and we're going to enable this, make sure this is the appropriate uh, light. So this is the older one. So you notice it says node instead of shader node, the one I disabled. And if we come in here, we make sure that we're on this. I'm going to actually move this into the appropriate spot that I want it. So I made a stub in the lights here inside cab lights. So I'm going to stick it right there. Uh, so we have it right there and I'm going to stick it right there. We'll stick it up a little bit so that we can see it when we load it in. back into position here. So there we got it kind of sticking on the dash. I'm not going to stick it all the way in so we can um, into the dash. So we'll, st we'll leave it sticking out some uh, and then we can see it. So I'm going to leave it there for right now and this is indicator left and we have the uh, the appropriate uh, index path here. I need to do the i3d path still for this mesh so we're just going to use the old node path 356240 so if we come in here we should be able to do turn left 30 uh, so we want 35, 6, 2, 4, 0. So it's still in there. And this should be shader node like the others now since it's using the UDIM system. And that should enable the turn signal. So we can go check that now. So we'll save the, uh, the environment and now we'll send this. So 
F S. Okay. So now I'm sticking that into my mod folder just so that we can go check it. And we'll go up here, start 19, the middle, back then. No. And let's go grab the harvester. You'll even see the image is different there on the uh, menu. Just like that. 